of who I am. I'm a human, right? Person, living. Look at this body. So intricate. Fingers, how it works. And where I was born. I was born in Soviet Union, and then I grew up in Kazakhstan. It was different, but the same thing always was that it was in peace. I lived a peaceful life. I never saw troops coming, I never saw the fight, real fight, except in the video. But imagine I was born in Africa, in Colombia, in Somali, in Syria. I can't imagine. Maybe you can, but I cannot. I cannot understand it. I cannot understand the people living in a devastating conditions. They live with no water, uh, no sanitation, no housing, uh, no food enough for them. They are hungry. They are angry. Are they humans? Yes, they are, as I am, as you are. But they live different life. How is that? Why is that possible? We live in a peaceful country. We think about what to wear, where to go, and they think about what to eat and where will, will I be? Will I live tomorrow? Or maybe I won't live, I will be dead. And when I think about how it is possible, I think about the wars. I can understand the First World War. Okay, Germany wanted more territory. Uh, it wanted to be rich. Uh, okay, Germany always wants to be more, more territory. I understand it. Uh, I understand some religious wars. But it's difficult, but I can understand. We believe in this way, we believe in that way, and something occurs that you cannot cope with it and you cannot live together. So just thoughts of person who... I'm a politician and a simple uh, teacher, English teacher, who who tries to figure out how it works, but I cannot understand terrorist attacks. I cannot understand their logic. What what you want to what you want what you want to achieve? You you claim the, you, you kill people, you kill professors, you destroy uh, the culture, you destroy everything we created, uh, persons created, and what you want to do? I I just cannot cannot find the word, but just can't see what, 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 what happens, what is it with these people. And uh, about it, I just follow some news stories about uh, uh, the person that I, I speak with people, and uh, I have been studying in uh, uh, France, and uh, I studied human rights there, and we had a lot of discussion about Africa, and a lot of heated discussion, heated religious discussion, about Koran, heated discussion about Africa, that's not a country, a lot of countries there and Africa is a it's, it's mess, I think, because a uh, lot of countries there, a lot of conflicts and look at the map of Africa, the map is uh, like uh, the squares, but the, the, the territory is not like this one, it is created by people, but not by by nature itself, so it's, it's complicated in Africa. And one girl asked me, for example, I don't follow news because I find them sad. I find them sad, I don't follow them. I prefer to live in a world when everything is pink and rose, when there are a lot of, I don't know, kittens, blue balloons, and I have cakes every day, I have everything for me, so I, I don't care about it. Please don't even tell me about it. Don't tell me because I don't want it. Get out. Go, go away. I don't want it. I don't want the stories about it. But I, I want to know because I, I'm interested in something and try to understand it. And when I see the stories and uh, when I see the, the human uh, fate, which is a uh, uh, very, uh, very sad fate, it's a negative effects, people dying, I, I become sad, but I want, I want to know what happens, I want to know what happens beyond Kazakhstan, and I, I want to, I want to actually read you the story, but can you please, I, I want to, uh, what do you want to do? Sorry. So I will uh, switch the light off, and just
concentration. Can you switch the lines off in there, please? And I will read you a story of a person. So, but I need light, so it's my life. <laughs> so the story of a person, of family Tonga in Africa. I just created the story, but it could be as real as we are right now. So, family Tonga is one of the sheep among the uh, southern Five, 500 people overall. They are they're traveling from uh, the island, uh, from, the, from, the Syrian, from Syria to Italy to find their refuge there. So they fight from the war there. So uh, when Tonga lived, he had a wife and two children, one of whom was a baby. So imagine the dialogue on a boat. But I want a cup of water. Bodies everywhere, wet bodies, the heat, the sun is merciless. But I want a cup of water. Have to wait, son. Baby stopped crying two hours ago. Maybe he stopped breathing also. The engine died off and the boat started just drifting. But I want a cup of water. How curious. Well, the water is everywhere, but it's like poison to drink. Two helicopters flew over the boat, giving the people false hopes because they didn't save them. But I want a cup of water. I know. Uh, and the, the baby died. They, throw, they were forced to throw it to the water. In an attempt to, be, uh, to attract the nearby ship, they, they, uh, they lighted a blanket and uh, it caused the fire on the ship and the ship was sunk. And on the 7th of October, uh, it was reported that rescue operation had been held, 155 people had been rescued, the rest, about 300 people, had been recovered, including Tonga and his family, dead corpses, and so on. So, uh, this is the story. Uh, about people who not are like us. They are people who have different faith. And very, uh, it's very sad to hear about it. But I, I, I think that we should hear about it. And about this girl, I, I want to say to her that you can always live in this world. Uh, but uh, just remember that in the other side, the people are just starving and have nothing to eat. Thank you.